The Daily Code Snippet. In addition to using semantic markup, we add the caption element. The caption element is used to describe the table's purpose. This allows users to decide whether they need to read the rest of the table or if it can be skipped, especially if using an assistive device that will read data cell by cell. The scope attribute can be added to the table heading elements to reinforce the role to improve the user's experience. At times, assistive devices draw the wrong conclusion of the role, so the scope provides clarification. The scope attribute has a value of col when it is a header element for a column, and the value of row when it is a header element for a row. So it specifies the top of the column and the first element of a row. So if we go back to our previous example, this is how we can improve its accessibility. So you can see with this new code, we have added a caption that explains that this table is partial patient demographic and owner information. And uh, we have added scope attributes to all the uh, heading elements and have specified whether it is a column heading element or a row heading element. Again, we really don't see a lot of external changes with how we have adjusted our code other than the presence of a caption and the new language in our footer. These measures help on the back end with accessibility and assistive devices. Using cold span and row span attributes allows cells to span more than one column and row. To reiterate this point, it may be aesthetic to sighted users to not see repeated data but since the information on a table is read to a user using an assistive device, the order helps the user understand to which column or row the data belongs. So if a column or row is skipped, it can cause confusion. So to make a table more accessible, it is preferable to avoid using these attributes. If it is required to use these attributes to present complicated data, then it is preferable to break up the data into smaller related tables that would allow you to avoid using the cold span or row span attributes. So if we go back to our previous example, this is how we can improve its accessibility further. Here we have added our footer note to our caption, so the user using an assistive device understands that more information can be requested without having to go through the entire table. And we no longer use the cold span attribute and the table does not need a footer. And here is how it would look. Presented by Designers Learn Code.